like a trumpet and we come to bring to you songs of praise and the engrafted word of God which is able to save heal and deliver your souls you may call us in Chicago at 955-1409 or 955-0861 the area code is 312 someone will be waiting to receive your calls and prayer request and at this time we'll have prayer coming from Elder James Morris. Thank you, Jesus! Thank you, Jesus! Thank you, Jesus! Thank you, Jesus! Hallelujah! God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for this another broadcast. Oh, God, another telecast. God, we ask you to heal. Send your word, deliver, set free, God. Bind the enemy on every hand, oh, God. Bless the speaker, oh, God. Touch in radio land. Heal, oh, God. Touch those that are sick. Reclaim back Jesus. Oh, God, we have a care with you in the praise, God. Glory and the honor in Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Scripture reading offered by missionary Henry Winters. Philippians, the fourth chapter, the eighth and ninth verse. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are good of a good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which ye have heard and learned and received and seen in me do and the God of peace shall be with you. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, the hearing and the obeying of his word. Amen. And the church said Amen. And the church said Amen. And the church said Amen. Amen. Won't 
Once you write us this week, you may mail all correspondences to the old Landmark Church, 7201 South Jeffrey Boulevard in Chicago, Illinois, zip code 60649, in care of our pastor, Apostle R.L. Mitchell. Also, all contributions toward the furtherance of this telecast will be greatly appreciated. And at this time, we'll have a selection coming from our senior choir, They Shall Be Mine, led by Sister Joan Patterson.
that these broadcasts as well as telecasts have been a blessing to you. If you would like to order a one-hour audio cassette of this or another telecast, send your name, address, and phone number to the Old Landmark Church. Be sure to include the number of the telecast. For tonight's telecast, just ask for OLM, tape number 139. And let's give God a praise. And at this time, we'll have a solo coming from Sister Anna Bryson, singing to the glory of God, we shall behold his face.
bless him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Remember to view these old landmark telecasts weekly at the same time and over this same channel. Let the saints shout glory. glory. Let the saints shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Now let's give them a praise one more time. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, bless him. And at this time, we'll have a group selection. I shall wear a crown. in, won't you call a neighbor or a friend and tell them that the Holy Way Hour is on the air and that the best is yet to come. Amen. At this time, we'll have a selection coming from our youth choir, Magnify the Lord. And as the choir sings, the order of our weekly services should appear on your television screen.
And now it is time for the word of God, coming from the man of God, who shall take you the way of the old landmark, which is the way to Christ. Hear ye him, receive ye him, our pastor, Apostle R. L. Mitchell. Let the saints put their hands together and give God a victory hand praise as he comes. Uh, so many people love the word like y'all do. They're trying to sing it out. But I got news for you. When you get the word, then you got to live it out. God bless you. You that might be viewing this telecast, and amen, which has been coming into your homes each week, night, and also the broadcast, which has been coming into your homes. We appreciate all of your donations and contributions, which some of you have been liberal, and some of you is doing what you can. We thank you for, for this small regret. Amen. amen. And we thank God for all of you that can't send, but you have sent your letters of encouragement. Amen. That's wonderful, too. God bless you. Praise the Lord. I, I, I'm not sorry, but I just don't have no, amen, little bottles of dirt and, right. you know, uh, to send you from, you know, made it up and had them fixed up in a factory somewhere wearing it, the dirt from around the tomb of Jesus. And uh, I don't have no water from the pool of the city, yeah. Amen. Amen. I don't have no crosses. Amen. Such as this to send you. Because this is nothing. It can't help you. I don't care what preacher send you a cross, a bottle of water, a water from Jerusalem or Mexico or New England or New York or where it come from. It can't help you. Jesus paid it all for you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'm happy to come here. We've been praying for all of you that sent your letters and even you that didn't send your letter. We just said, Lord, bless the people everywhere. Amen. Even the kings and queens and Governors and all in authority. First supplication for men, yes. prayers for men everywhere. Praise the Lord and amen. We thank God that we know God. Yes. And that is true. Yes. Amen. And another thing, I'm not sorry because I'm not going to come down, amen, like you preachers want me to come down. Yes. Amen. Yes. A a amen. The word haven't changed. And if you can get with anybody and have service, there's something wrong with you now. Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. But I thank God for, amen, what God is doing through the Holy Ghost. Amen. Praise the Lord. And you don't mix up with the world. I've never yet heard of Jesus putting on a worship service for the world. I don't remember reading why he told the preacher to put on a worship service for the world. Amen. To come and shout and praise the Lord and speak with tongues. And I never read why he said all churches need to get together. Because it'll be a worse mess than it is now if all of the churches got together. Amen. Because the devil's church sure will come on in. I mean, you can't change the devil's churches. No need of you trying to talking about peace. That's right. Amen. Because there's no peace for the wicked. Amen. There's no peace in the land. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We can pray all we want, but there'll no be no he ain't gonna heal no land, not in this dispensation. Oh, it's getting worse and worse. 
while we're talking about a great big revival that the earth have never seen, it's getting worse and worse. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. He just told us to do one thing. Go ye in all the world. Yeah. Preach the gospel. Yes. He that believe in this baptized shall be saved. Yeah. Preach the word, be instant and in season. Yeah. Cry loud and don't spare. Yeah. Uh -uh. Said men won't even induce sound doctrine. Yeah. The time is coming, it's here now. Yeah. So ain't no need to talk about peace. Because ain't no God's people got to turn from no wicked ways. Yeah. You see, you preachers done fix this thing up because y'all done got weak, you mess up, and you sin sometimes. Yeah. And when you get with the wrong group, huh? Evil communication corrupt good man. I don't care who's got a Bible in the churches. I don't care who's singing pretty songs. I don't care, amen, if they got, amen, the best singers there is from somewhere. Amen. That don't prove they're saved. That's right now. Amen. I don't care all you pastors and preachers. You got to, amen, stand ye in the way and see for the old path. And when you find it, walk back in it. Because you done lost the way. You're leading people to degradation. You're leading them to hell. The pastors have called the people to error. Leading them to destruction. God don't want everybody in the world to get together. That's right. Man, you got to be born again to get in this church, the body of Christ. Heard a man say the other day, just not too long ago, I believe it was this morning, a man that said that uh, the, the church is in a shame. I, I, I'm thinking he must have been talking about his church. Because the body of Christ, the gates of hell, shall not prevail against it. Amen. You see, the, pre the pastor is really the one that's in the fault for taking down, compromising for gain. Amen. Want the love of the people. False prophet come in and have them preaching over the saints. Because he got a big name in the world. Amen. Uh, some of them went to Jerusalem. It's a, this thing talking about the Holy Land is a mess. They ain't doing nothing but jiving people to get some money. That's all it is. Because they're fighting over there. Killing over there. Hallelujah. I don't need to go to the tomb where Jesus laid. To get a blessing. I can get a blessing just as well here. If I pray here, I can get a blessing. If I went there and pray, I get a blessing. Ain't going to be no brother. Holy Ghost is everywhere. Oh, yeah. And whosoever will open up to him, yeah. he'll use them. Yeah. I'm talking about in the body. Yeah. Right. Amen. I'm going to this yeah. word of God now. Yeah. Praise God. And I'm very stirred about this peace thing. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. The world don't have no peace. Yeah. But in Christ, the saints have peace. Amen. Yeah. Amen. They think our prayers are so powerful. The body of Christ's prayers are not powerful enough to bring peace in this whole earth. Amen. Whatsoever you ask don't mean, amen, don't, you can't ask them against prophecy. Evil men shall wax worse and worse. And it's going to be worse than what we have seen. It. Amen. You've been praying and praying, and I've been hearing about meetings. This will be the greatest meeting you ever went to. And the next two weeks, they're saying, this will be the greatest meeting you ever went to. The next month, this is the greatest. If you miss this, you're meeting the, missing the greatest time of your life. Yeah. And, and, and everybody come. God going to bless everybody. That's a lie. Yeah. God ain't going to touch everybody to come to the meeting. Because yeah. everybody ain't giving up to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. I believe we're going to go to Ezekiel, I mean, Ecclesiastic, pardon me, the third chapter, in the eighth verse. 
Ezekiel, Ecclesiastes 3 and 8. A time to love. There's a time to love. Go ahead. And a time to hate. A time to hate. A time of war. A time of war. And a time of peace. It's time of war in various places. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, that's right. Yeah. America, what we call having peace, is not at peace because it got soldiers over there. And we don't have peace because we're worried, we're kind of stirred about the missile issue. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. And there's a time of peace. Yes. Well, some places there are some peace, natural peace. There's no world peace. Won't be. In these revivals now, they're talking about thousands are coming to Christ. Thousands and thousands. Look like heaven going to be full and hell going to be short. Maybe heaven has enlarged herself. And hell has shrieking herself. Amen. People come up now, supposed to be receiving Christ. All it is now, come on up. Repeat after me. 10 chapter Romans. Now I'm saved. I'm clean. I'm washed. I'm sanctified. And they go away. As I said before, chewing the gum, the boyfriend got his hand around his girlfriend, got it right on her buttocks. Going away in pants. Amen. Nah, they, they had to go wearing pants because they had them on when they got there. But I'm going to tell you something. These preachers now is teaching. It's the new thing. These new folk coming up here. And some of these old preachers getting with them. They are strengthening the hand of the wicked doer. And they don't even know a false prophet when they see one. I don't care how you feel. God's people ain't dripping with Amen. Red nails and fingernails and a half or two inches long and all that devil's paint on them. Yes, it's devil's paint. God told the priests, told the priests in the book, he told them, say, you priests, amen, get some britches and put some britches on. He didn't tell not one woman to put britches on. It ain't no way to my, don't wear them tight, wear them loose to pants. Honey, it don't make no difference. You can't smoke a half a cigarette and be right. And if you smoke a whole one, you're wrong. Sin is sin. A big lie ain't no better, it's good, ain't no better than a little lie. A lie is a lie. But God wants his peace. In individuals' hearts yes. that will say yes and receive him. Yes. And let God show up, purge him from sin. Yes. All right, Ezekiel, Ezekiel 7. Ezekiel 725. Read it. Destruction cometh. Destruction cometh. And they shall seek peace. They shall seek peace. And there shall be none. There shall be none. Uh -huh. People are seeking peace now, but there's no peace. We better know what we're talking about when we're talking about praying that God, uh, amen, he'll heal the land. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Right now. Because that means every pimp has got to get saved. Oh. Yeah. Every hope monger got to stop. Yeah. No, pool rooms got to shut up. The police station got to shut up. Yeah. There won't be no crime if he heal the land. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, you talking about just healing the land to bring forth some apples and oranges and corn. That's already healed. It's bringing forth. There are floods in many places. It's not all over the world. Cattle are dying in some places. Huh? Amen. And then there's a place that got destroyed by tornado. And let me go back maybe a couple of years, but now it's built back up. 
Hey, the people did that. That's right. Huh? That's right. yeah. And then again, tornadoes go somewhere else. That's, right. that's no peace, that's destruction. Right. Earthquakes ain't no peace, that's destruction. Right. And the Bible said, Thou shall be earthquakes and divers of places. Right. When you see these things, you know it won't be long. Right. Amen. Huh? Amen. All right. Isaiah, Isaiah 48, 18. 48, 18, read. All that thou hadst hearkened to my commandments. All that thou wouldst have hearkened to my commandments. Then had thy peace been as a river. Then had your peace been like a river. But you know what? Let me tell you something. Ain't no sinners got no peace. Right. They're not hearkening to God's word and don't want to hearken. How they going to have peace? Our prayers ain't going to bring them no peace until they give up their sin and come to Christ. Hear the preacher. Believe the gospel. Then they'll have peace and then they'll be in the body. Yeah. Outside of the body, there's no peace. Yeah. Amen. Uh huh. And thy righteousness as the waves of the sea. All right. Yes. Go ahead to the other one. Psalms 125 and 5. What does it say? As for such as turn aside unto their crooked ways. As that such as turn aside to their crooked ways. And some of these folk call themselves holiness pastor is turning aside to these, these crooked singing, amen, choir preachers' churches. We're going to go over there and we're going to have a good time in the Lord with the devil's children. I don't care if you don't never like it. Somebody got to get, it, it got to stand. A, a holiness got a standard. Hallelujah, I don't care how you feel. You can talk about me till you blow up and blow your head to the ceiling. You ain't got no business talking about you holding you pastoring folk and your women, the buses out and they're showing all sides and dresses up to their hocks and look like a jewelry store all on them. You a liar, you a liar. Come out from among them, they go to them. Yeah. Not to get them saved, but the same. Yeah. These sinner folk get a prime meeting in a park somewhere. There go some holiness preachers out there. And hey, what are you gonna do? All of these meetings I heard about, all these great meetings, I haven't heard no, no room, nothing about them. Yeah. Wasn't even noise the brawl. Yeah. But Bishop Mitchell's name is noise the brawl. Yeah. Who, Mitchell? Yeah. Man. The sinner said he telling it like it is, so you might well tell the truth. Sometimes he make me mad, but he tell the truth. And he folks said he's sanctified. Love, he ought to stop that. No, you done got with that old cotton mouth, smooth mouth preacher. I don't care how you feel, they ain't doing nothing but blowing his horn. <laughs> no, yeah, 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 yeah. Women going crazy. Like a vampire is after them. Amen. 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 Read. The Lord shall lead them forth with the workers of iniquity. Uh huh. But peace shall be upon Israel. Peace shall be upon Israel, but not now. That's right. That's right. It's coming. Amen. Yes, Israel, the Jewish nation, shall have peace. Amen. That's to come. So how are we going to pray for the healing of the land and they can't have peace until prophecy be fulfilled in their behalf? Right. All right. This is a wicked and evil world. Yes, sir. Read. Psalms 128 and 6. Uh-huh. Yea, thou shalt see thy children's children yeah. and peace upon Israel. You're going to see peace upon Israel. Yes. We'll see it when we get there. One day, yes. even in the millennium, yes. even in the eternal life, yes. which is called everlasting, yes. that's the only peace it's going to be. Hallelujah. So you stop telling people about he's going to heal the land if the saints of God, the body of Christ, will turn from their wicked way. I don't care. I still say, if my people, you ain't you ignorant. Amen. Void of scripture knowledge. Yes. Yes. Come on. Most people can't be, they set up because they're guilty of seeing themselves. 
Amen. And it's something, it's something to that if my people. What people? The body or you and some of your folk? Read. Come on, one. Amen. Come on, sister, read what you got there. Matthew 24, 11. Read it. 12. Go ahead. And many false prophets shall rise. Many false prophets shall rise. They're already here. Mm -hmm. I mean many, too. They're they over, they overflowing the world. Oh, yes. Amen. Read. And shall deceive many. They are deceiving many by building churches. Yes. Having churches. Get beautiful choirs. Beautiful sounding. Oh, yes. Huh? Yes. Amen. Now it's going to be, amen. It's, you know these the different holidays come. Yes. And some of these holidays, they can't see a poor man needing a chicken or turkey until that holiday. Yes. And from one holiday to the other, the man hungry. The woman hungry, the children are hungry. That don't save you. You can give your body to be burned and don't have God in your life. It don't profit you nothing. Read. And because iniquity shall abound. What? The love of many shall wax cold. Pray all you want. The love of many gonna wax cold. Folk gonna backslide and folk gonna be getting saved. It's gonna be that way. And yet, don't care who backslide, God got him a church. Without spot or wrinkle already. He ain't got to clean the church up. Else why did he get saved in the first place? If he got to clean the church up, the church is in sin, the body. But he's coming and said, will you listen? We said that he's coming after a church. But the Bible said, amen, a church without spot or wrinkle, yes. a blemish or a, a, such a anything, or such a, any such thing, yes. but that it should be holy. Yes. Amen. And without blame. Yes. And I heard him say, look at here. Yes. Amen. That you should present your bodies yes. a living sacrifice. Yes. Ain't no sin in no holy person. Yes. They are separated from sin. Yes. The pastor is holy and separated from sin. Yes. The pastor that is holy don't compromise with the sinner pastors. Yeah! Read. Luke 10 and 18. Luke 10 and 18. And he said unto them. Jesus said unto them. I beheld Satan, Satan as lightning fall from heaven. I beheld Satan coming from heaven, falling down from heaven as lightning. Yeah. Uh-huh. Read it on. Behold, I give unto you powers to tread on serpents. Now he give us power, but Satan is coming down from heaven. Yes. Now what he doing? He's down here now. You think you're going to have all this peace? The world going to have peace? And Satan is loose down here? The prince of the air? The god of this world? You think he's going to have, you going to have peace? Huh? Saints got peace. Inward peace. But the world, there is no peace. No peace for the wicked. Said the Lord. All right. Read. And over all the power of the enemy, uh -huh. and nothing shall by any means hurt you. All right, read the next one. St. John 14 and 2. What it say? In my father's house are many men. Now, what we do, in my, that's the only, that's the only time we're going to get out of this world. Oh, worldly war, war for war, 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 world, a world of war. Yeah. Amen. Mess, junk, and all this old hippies and all these old sex maniacs, and we're going to leave them down here one day. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. We're going to, amen. We we have entered into peace, but there's a peace we haven't got into yet. And when we get there, we're going into his peace, everlasting peace. But yet we have peace. Yeah. Read. If it were not so, uh -huh. I would have told you. Read. I go to prepare a place for you. Yeah. 14th verse. Read it. If you ask anything in my name, what? I will do it. I will do it, but he ain't going to stop prophecy. No. All right. All right. He ain't going to stop no wall for us. Right. Every wall come up. Because come yeah. some of these walls is in prophecy. Yeah. And it's going to be. There are going to be many fields flooded, many earthquakes. They're going to commit more abortions and killing babies and murderers and whatnot, amen, more in 1984 and 85 than they do now. 
and on and on till Jesus come, amen, until he be get ready to set up the everlasting king. It's going to be trouble. But honey, there's peace in the mountain for you. You don't have to be in the valley. When God saved you, he exalted you. Didn't leave you in the valley. He brought you up on the mountain top. Yeah. Say yeah. yeah. Read. St. John 16, 32 and 33. St. John 16, 32, 33. Behold, the hour cometh. Yes. Yea, is now come. Mm -hmm. That ye shall be scattered. Gonna be scattered. Every man to his own. Yes. And shall leave me alone. Gonna leave him alone. Read. And yet I am not alone. I'm not alone. Because the Father. With the me. Father's with me. Go ahead. These things I have spoken unto you. Why? That in me ye might have peace. In him. Yeah. Ye. He wasn't talking to the world. Right now. He was talking to his disciples. Yeah. Yeah. In me ye. Not the world. Yeah. Ye shall have peace. Yeah. Ye. Yeah. Not everybody but you. Yeah. Yeah. You my children. You my people. Yeah. You shall have peace. In me, read. In the world ye shall have tribulation. Now, why are you going to pray for peace? How are you going to pray tribulations out? Right now. Hallelujah. Huh? When you overcome, whoever's tribulation, the tribulation come, you overcome it. Yes. You still going to have some more tribulations. That's right. They're coming against you. Yes, sir. Yes. You may have peace, even from a little while from your adversary. Yes. But he's coming again. Yes. Amen. No peace down here, but in you, you have peace in Christ. Yeah. Read. But be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. Don't worry about it. Yeah. I have overcome the world. I have overcome yeah. the world. Yeah. Peace is in Jesus. Come on. Amen. Amen. Uh, read. Matthew 10, 32. Matthew 34. 10, 32, 34. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, uh -huh. him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. Keep reading. Think not that I'm come to send peace on earth. I didn't come to send peace on earth. Why y'all gonna pray for peace on earth? Oh, Ain't no peace and goodwill toward me and now. Oh, Go ahead. It's for every man that will receive Christ and be born of the Spirit and let him set him into the body. Yeah. But there's no peace for anyone else. Uh -huh. Read. I came not to send peace. I didn't come to send peace. A sword. A sword. Why don't you pray Jesus out, you, you, you ignorant preachers? Tell him, he said he don't know what he's talking about because if my people call by my name and get they, he going to heal the land. What he going to heal it? He come not to send peace. Amen. If he heal the land, he got to have peace. Amen. He ain't healing the land. Amen. Amen. Fire's breaking out everywhere. Oh, yeah. Amen. Look at here. Jerusalem is bombed. Beirut is fighting. Yeah. Lebanon is fighting. Yeah. Syria is fighting. Yeah. They don't even know what to think about the Soviets and, and Germans. Yes. Amen. Air raids destroying homes and peoples yeah. and babies. Uh -huh. uh, Nicaragua, El Salvador. Yeah. Gorillas are sniping, killing. Yeah. Movie stars and stage out rock and roll. Women, men are dance that dance. Amen. Nearly nude and talking about they born again. Amen. Right. It's, it's a terrible day. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. It ain't no such a thing no more if you find ten righteous where you spare a city. Because some cities get wiped out and I know it's some righteous folk being. Amen. 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 And the pastors let the members engage sex re relations before they marry. So that they can be sure that they are compatible. Tornadoes in Alabama and Georgia. Yeah. More divorces. Yeah. Dope habits are growing. Yeah. Men and women and children are hungry everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Fires and factories and yeah. houses are being destroyed. Yeah. Folk are dying in these places. Yeah. Flash floods in Birmingham. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And two other places. Yeah. Amen. Airplane crisis. Yeah. They're often now. Yeah. Amen. Leaders are not preaching. Amen. Amen. Homosexual growing. Amen. They think because they are under the cloak of religion, they are all right. Yes, sir. They are under sex or human, homosexual under the cloak of religion. Yes, they think they are all right. Yes. But it's yet abominating. Get up. Jesus said you have no cloak for your sin. Yes. Abortions is getting worse. Yes. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. And I want you to tell you something. You, when you have a baby, you, amen, you have conceived, it ain't no fetus. No, it's a baby. Right. God ain't never called it a fetus. Yeah. He said that child is in you. Yeah. Then he said, Jeremiah, before I knew you, I formed you in your mother's womb. Yeah. You murderers, you, that's a child in there. Yeah. Go back, go back, go back to the old landmark. A Holy Ghost preacher will tell you to your face. I'm going to tell the truth if you all go to hell. The word of God is power. You better preach the word because the word says, how can they hear without a preacher?